order to be good at something, it takes practice, practice, practice. Whether it be playing a sport, learning a new instrument, or saving lives. Yep, these guys are future paramedics, and they're just about to complete their toughest training yet. Today is uh, the final assessments for the third year students, the undergraduate paramedic students. We put them through their paces here um, to a range of clinical challenges and scenarios and uh, make them uh, respond. Uh, and it's quite unpredictable and quite a challenge for them. And while unpredictable is a pretty accurate way of describing what these students have ahead of them, their long months of hard study haven't left them unprepared. We've been doing the scenarios for the last couple of weeks at uni and now it's good to get out, out and about for a bit. From outside. Well, I've seen that we're supposed to be up in some ropes this time, so it um, might be a bit, a bit difficult extricating the patient. It's a bit different from having them down in the floor in the classroom. Well, there is no time to lose. On with the next job. We got called to a young male that had a fall, so we were already kind of going through our treatments in our heads. Mm. To... He's probably had some sort of trauma. It was obviously a bit of a strange scenario, a um, bit of a uh, difficult access. So, yeah, we had to go up and figure out what his main complaints were. He had a bit of trouble with his breathing, he was unconscious, so, um, yeah, we had to go from there. But it worked out good. Teamwork, these guys helped with extrication a lot and fixed his broken leg. So the dummy has received its treatment. Great job, team. There are 14 stations set up over the course, all with different emergency scenarios. So there are plenty of challenges for everyone. Well, it looks like everyone's had a hard but fun day. The skills required to help save people's lives need to become second nature. Some think that training days, like this one, help to reinforce in these future paramedics. We do a lot in this classroom, but I mean, people aren't always going to get sick in a nice open room um, with everything around them, so it gives us a bit more of a challenge. It's a lot better for preparation for a lot of things, especially just a lot of things of um, having to walk over uneven ground, having to move a patient over uneven ground, around trees, a lot of things like that that we don't get a normal experience, which has been great. It has been a bit tough, a bit challenging, because we've done um, quite a few scenarios up one after the other, a bit gruelling on the body and the mind, <laughs> but it's totally worth it.